The Centricut Quick Change Torch Upgrade incorporates proven hypertherm technology to deliver excellent performance, improved productivity, and high reliability for your ESOB cutting system. This is a two-piece replacement for the single-piece ESOB PT36, 600, and 19 XLS torches. The detachable torch head makes changing and inspecting consumables quick and easy. It is interchangeable with consumables for ESOB PT36, 600, and 19 XLS torches. The cut settings for Centricut torches are compatible with those for ESOB. When using multiple torch heads, you'll be able to set up consumables for the next job while cutting the current job. This video gives you step-by-step -step instructions for installing your new Centricut Quick Change Torch onto your ESOB plasma cutting systems. For easier installation, you will want to make sure you have the necessary tools on hand. You will need 1 half and 7 16 inch open-end combination wrenches, 1 16 and 5 30 seconds hex wrenches, black permanent marker, electrical tape, flat blade screwdriver, either a strap wrench or a pipe wrench, electrode removal tool and electrode holder removal tool that came with the plasma system. You can also reference the Centricut ESOB Torch Upgrade Field Service Bulletin for a complete list of tools and instructions. The Torch Upgrade Kits for the ESOB PT36 and the ESOB PT600 PT19 XLS are very similar with the only differences being in the torch base, the electrode holder mounting nut, and the electrode holder. The ESOB Quick Change Torch Upgrade Kit includes a torch head, a torch base, a mounting nut, a nozzle retaining cap, an electrode holder, a diffuser, O-ring kits for the bullet plugs, mounting nut, and torch and retaining cap, O-ring lubricant, and a field service bulletin. Before working on the plasma torch or system, be certain to safely disconnect the gases, coolant, and power, and follow your company's safety guidelines for system maintenance. First, we will remove the current torch. Use a black permanent marker to mark the mounting tube location on the clamp holder to ensure it will be returned to the same height when remounted. Using a strap wrench or pipe wrench, loosen the torch in the clamped mounting tube. Turn the stainless steel part of the torch to the left until it breaks free, and then stop. If there is a sleeve covering the hoses onto the mounting tube, loosen it. Then, loosen the 5 seconds inch hex screws on the torch mount. You can now remove the torch from the holder by pulling up on the torch leads. Hold the torch and turn the mounting tube counterclockwise until it separates from the torch. Slide the mounting tube up the leads to expose the fittings and the pilot arc connection. Slide the pilot arc wire insulator away from the torch and disconnect the connector using the 1 inch hex wrench for the PT600. Or fold up the knife connector and disconnect for the PT36. Once this has been disconnected, bend the pilot arc wire out of the way for easier access to the fittings. Using the 1 half inch wrench, disconnect the shield gas line. The shield gas line has the longest pipe with a 1 half inch nut. Next, disconnect the coolant in and coolant out lines. These are the shorter pipes. Please note that the coolant in nut and pipe have grooves to indicate that they are left-hand threads. The coolant out fitting is a standard right-hand fitting. Lastly, disconnect the plasma fitting with the 7 16 inch wrench. Now that the old torch has been completely disconnected, you're ready to install the new ESOB Quick Change Torch. To connect the quick change torch base to the lead set, adjust the hose stagger and align to match the pipes on the back of the torch base. Use electrical tape to keep the hoses lined up. Loosely attach the coolant in fitting and the coolant out fitting to the quick change torch base.
Once again, the coolant infitting has the left hand thread and the coolant outfitting has the right hand thread. Loosely attach the shield gas and plasma gas hose fittings. Remember, all hose fittings should be loose at this point. While holding the torch base with one hand, tighten each fitting. Be careful not to over tighten as this can cause the nut to split or the center to break. For the PT600, as we're demonstrating, connect the pilot arc wire to the quick change torch base using the connector and tighten the set screws with the 1 inch hex wrench. For the PT36 torch, you will connect the knife connector and then slide the insulator over this connection. Slide the mounting tube down to the torch base and thread it on by holding the torch base and turning the tube clockwise. Be careful not to cross thread either item. Next, we will reinstall the torch base and mounting tube into the clamp holder, making sure to clamp on the line marked earlier. Tighten the 5 seconds hex screws and slide the covering back over the top of the tube, then tighten the clamp. Using the strap wrench, pipe wrench, or a C-spanner, securely tighten the torch base to the mounting tube. This is approximately a 1 inch turn beyond hand tightening. This will prevent loosening during operation. The first and a very important step is to lubricate the O-rings. This will prevent damage to the O-ring during installation and extends the O-ring life. Apply a thin layer of lubricant to the O-rings on the bullet plug, the O-ring on the electrode holder mounting nut, and to the O-rings on inside and bottom edges of the retaining cap insulator. The next step is to install the electrode holder mounting nut. Once again, the electrode holder mounting nuts are different between the PT600 and PT36 kits. Notice that the wider end of the mounting nut has a square shape. You will also see that the insert in the center of the back of the torch head has the same shape as the wide end of the mounting nut. Insert the mounting nut into the back end of the torch head. Turn and wiggle the nut until you feel it seat into the insert. The O-ring on the mounting nut will hold the nut in place. When the mounting nut has been properly installed, the torch head will sit flat on any flat surface when turned upside down. If it is improperly installed, you will notice a gap between the flat surface and the torch head. The assembly of the torch head is next. With the torch head resting on a flat surface, thread the electrode holder in with the gas baffle installed and tighten by hand using the electrode holder tool that came with your plasma system. Do not over tighten as this can crack the ceramic gas baffle. You are now ready to install the consumables into the torch head. Centricut offers a complete line of consumables for ESOB PT36, PT600 and PT19 XLS that are fully compatible with the new quick change torch. The new torch is also compatible with OEM consumables. The only consumable unique to the quick change torch is the nozzle retaining cap. You will notice that the nozzle retaining cap is shorter than the retaining cap used with the standard one-piece torches. This is to keep the overall length of the torch the same for beveling applications. Align the long brass pin on the torch base with the hole in the back of the torch head and slide it to engage the threads of the coupler ring with the threads of the base. Tighten by turning the plastic ring counterclockwise until the top edge of the plastic comes to the bottom of the black rubber O-ring. This O-ring should sit above the plastic ring to keep metal dust and debris from getting into the threads. If your torch has a clamp with a wire attached for ohmic contact sensing, you'll need to purchase and install the Centricut IHS wire kit. This is part number C122-081. You can reference this on page 15 of the Field Service Bulletin. You are now ready to cut.
Thank you for viewing this video. We appreciate your use of CentraCut products and hope that you enjoy the ease of use and benefits of the CentraCut Quick Change Torch for ESOP.